today is the day. The boat is on the move. The guys are here. Moving around this thingy. There's the big machine. It's going to take us out. Weird. I guess I have to get off the boat now. There she is. She has moved. Guys are pulling her in. It's the big heavy equipment. They place these walks. It's all propped up, I guess, safe and sound. This is the through hole that I plugged from the outside. My repair worked amazingly well and held all the way down here. It's hard as rack. Shout out to the good folks at Epoxy. For this product which works like amazing. This is the through hole from the head. It's coming out. Gonna get repaired. There's my my epoxy looking hull, which I'm a little nervous about, but I'm hoping it's going to be okay. I have no idea what this is for. <laughs> Not a clue. Uh yeah. Hmm. Have to figure that out. And this is the new view. <laughs> Mermaid's cockpit. <laughs> oh, so many boats. <laughs> High and dry. <laughs> it's um different. <laughs> Just in case y'all were, you know, but like wax and all romantic about the whole sailing life. Well, now the boat is hauled out. I am trying to get the last of the water out of the bilge, and it is really disgusting. <laughs> it stinks real bad. And it's down in this hole. <laughs> it's just perfectly lovely. I'm a little scared, but there's nothing scary down there. It's just the bilge. <laughs> if I can reach it. <laughs> Cannot reach it. Really tired here. Oh, it's gross. It's gross down there. Ugh. I don't like it. Screwdriver, maybe? A uh, wrench. Uh, pliers. There's a piece of wood. Hey, now that's a good hose clamp, man. <laughs> it hasn't rusted away in there. That must be a really good stainless one. I'm not sure it's worth cleaning up. <laughs> well, there's some more gunk down there, but to be honest, I don't know what to do about it. I can't get like a shovel down there. And got all I got a half a bucket of water out of there, so hey me. I took the boom off. 
All the non-essential rigging. Sales are down. Just left the halyards for the sail maker. Solar panels down. It's all good. Hoping Ding Ding will be all right without me. I miss her. I'm heading off to the UK to see my baby girl, which I'm very excited about. Although I'm a little sad to leave my harmony. You're in your boat yard. When I get back, I'm gonna get that linkage remade. The guy, the welder says he can do it. Put the rudder back on the wind vane. Get a vein made. The swim platform is angled too far down, so I'm gonna get the welder to cut the top rails so it can sit up more level with the water. This is one of the cockpit drains. This is the intake for the engine. And uh, they have uh, seacocks inside to shut the water off. And they're gonna get serviced because they're both they're all frozen. Well, this one this one opens and closes, but the other two do not. They're frozen open. Yes. Guess this zinc is still okay. I have a new one, but they say if there's like 60% of it left or something. And my cutlass bearing seems okay. This is where the uh, propeller shaft comes out of the boat. Seems pretty sturdy. Rudder seems good. Attached. Oh, seems all good. I think she has a very sexy keel, don't you? That beautiful shape and that nice heavy lead keel at the bottom. Keep her upright, floating. There's my girl. Look at how she's dwarfed by these enormous boats. Some of these boats are just massive. 